Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Daniel, just like Tiny Ball with a D and today I'll see I'm doing another video for the Biomedical Sciences playlist. As you guys were like commenting loads of questions, also liking it, I often was like, I believe that I should make another video of this or part two. And instead of like interview questions and like tips and advice, I'm just gonna do um, some questions. I'm gonna answer it in this video. So I have answered, like I did comment back, so like in the comment section of my previous video. So I'm just gonna put the link down in the description down there if you wanna check that out. And also the little card up top here. One of the questions were like, did I choose not to take a placement a year? And the answer is yes and no, because I did try to get a placement. However, I couldn't, get one like obviously I did have interviews and I'd go to applications of like various places but the thing is well my uni specifically anyway I'm not sure about your unis it could differ it was mainly focused on like your research and the pharmaceutical industry side not the NHS and therefore I did look at places to do with like research and pharmaceutical industries however I couldn't get any unfortunately how sad so I just stuck with uh going through third year so my final year uni and the other question would be is can you do a placement year in the NHS and the answer is yes you can like this girl at work she's doing a um, a placement year and yeah she's working but she's working for free so it's not funded guys but you also can do your registration but then again it's quite competitive as some hosti hospitals do like um, offer you this opportunity some don't so you have to basically you have to contact each hospital whether they will allow you to do that or not it depends it's very competitive or just contact loads of hospitals that you're willing to um you know travel to whatever so another question would be is work experience necessary like no it's not necessary for having a job for getting a job in pathology or like let's say the placement year because obviously most people don't have work experience in the lab or in pathology in general so that's totally fine honestly like it is a bonus if you do have work experience in there but it is not necessary, like it's not essential. I know you can apply to bands two to four without any laboratory experience or degree in biomed, but if you wanna go beyond that, so band five, you need to have a biomedical degree. Um, again, it is a plus if you do have our experience, but it's not essential guys, it's just a bonus. So obviously there's other people with like who let's say have different degrees or like not associated to science, let's say, or people who don't have degrees or who don't have past experience in the lab. So yes, so you just have to do well in the interview basically. Another question is that after a biomedical science degree, can you go straight to pathology? The answer is yes, it is. So again, apply, you can apply to advanced two to four. You can also buy, apply to a trainee and five job, but it is quite competitive, they're quite hard. Like not a lot come up. So I'll keep an eye out, you can apply to training band 5, but some internal, some are not, obviously if it's internal, unfortunately you can't apply to that unless you do work in that hospital, or trust, or whatever, but also you don't need a biomedical science degree, again like I mentioned in the previous question, you can still apply to pathology bands 2 to 4, um, not so much training, you should do your degree for that. I remember back when I was in college, so when I was doing all my work experience in the pathology lab, it was like when I was 17, I believe, 17. So just before uni, I was like, I might slip in this work experience before I go to uni so I could say something with a personal statement or also my CV just in case I do apply to jobs, which I didn't really during uni. But it, it was obviously, it, it was like a bonus for when I did apply to pathology jobs after uni. Um, so I remember there was this girl, I believe she was in college too, I can't remember what age she was, probably around mine, and she worked in specimen reception, so a band too, so that is fine, like booking and stuff, and obviously I'd see any people at the front office and stuff, basically in the office, that's totally fine. So yeah, you can apply to that, even before you have a degree, you can even apply to college, just um, in the UK, working age of 16, you can apply it when you're 16. So. Uh, yeah, it doesn't need to be bef after, sorry, it doesn't need to be after your biomedical science degree. It can be before, but if you want to apply to obviously bands higher, like five, then it needs to be after the degree. Um, so someone also asked is, uh, let's say if you have a different degree, like that is not biomed or along those lines, like pathology related, can how can you move on to become a BMS? 
So my advice to this person was that obviously um, if your degree is not accredited by IBMS then what you must do is you probably have to get a degree, like a biomed degree, um, so you have to start from scratch. But it might depend on the hospital because this person particularly did pharmacy and I know that biomed and pharmacy do have some modules together like I remember back in uni and therefore they do learn like similar things but obviously it's a bit different and um, so what I suggested to her like it depends on the hospital as well so some might um, offer you to do top of, top of modules um, so they will fund you, don't need to pay for it but obviously it depends as well on the hospital if they want to do that or not so my advice was to contact IBMS whether uh, like what you should do whether your degree is let's say if it is kind of like linked to biomed or stuff like that if it is like if that's what they're looking for basically then what they would do is probably suggest you do top up modules obviously you can also pay for them but they're so expensive it's basically going back to uni guys so depending how many top up modules you have to do so i think it's best to like contact uh, the hospital or like any hospital that you wish to apply to and ask whether they would give you the opportunity to do these top-up modules that is fully funded by them. Other questions would be is uh, this person um, commented the other day saying that they're from India so people from a different country who has like a BMS degree or like a medical laboratory technician degree is basically the same thing just different names like I know in the Philippines it's like medical technician or laboratory technician or something like that as well my friend actually um shout out to dev we met in an interview so funny and uh, we became bffs so shout out to you uh, she also graduated from the philippines but she lives here and she started working as an mla so yes you can um apply to uk jobs as uh, i get advanced two to four so mla ap associate practitioner uh, MLA medical laboratory assistant um, but if you want to be become a BMS like obviously there's loads of people who were BMS's back in different countries and all they had to do was contact the IBMS um, about their registration and whether it's like suited to the requirements or whether they need to sort out any paperwork and stuff like that so yeah contact IBMS about your registration whether there's any requirements you need to do etc also contact the NHS because I know some are recruited from overseas I just don't know when and where but I know they are so check that out in like any in the NHS website or something I don't really know where you can find it but contact them to make sure that what I'm telling you is correct so double check with IBMS and NHS to um, determine whether you can apply to the UK overseas. So another person asked was whether um, biology or like biological sciences or stuff like that is um, accredited by IBMS. Well, subjects like that aren't really accredited by IBMS. Like my friend uh, right now, Annabelle, again, another shout out to Annabelle. Uh, she did biology back in uni and unfortunately she can't really apply to a trainee band five position because she did biology. And the reason is that, yeah, it's not accredited by the IBMS, but also she's lacking certain modules as well. So, you know, biology is mainly like plants, insects and stuff like that, life, whatever. But however, biomed is about diseases, cells, cancer, proteins, enzymes, stuff like that, you know. But however, they didn't learn those things, so therefore she needs to do these modules in order to, you know, meet the requirements. So contact, what she did is contact IBMS about this. She sent all her paperwork and just hearing back from them whether, like, what type of module she has to do and what she needs to do next. So contact them. But for bio, like chem, Bio microbiology and stuff like that, the specifically targeted modules for those departments. Like, I advise you, like, yeah, do them if you are certain you're going into that path, into that field. But if you want to go to a different, like, um, let's say from like biochem to micro or micro to biochem, people taught you whatever, you you would have to do top up modules as well, just because you're not 
learning everything so i would suggest doing biomed instead of like obviously biological sciences biochemistry like that unless you were honestly certain you want to do you want to go in that field but biomed is the way to go because it's like so diverse you can apply to anything literally anything and especially a uni has to be accredited so double check with that before you apply to that uni also contact them i remember i used to email so many unis about this before i picked my five choices whether they're accredited or not other questions would be that obviously for a biomed degree you need two sciences so i would suggest doing biology and chemistry because those two are like kind of said essential if you did do let's say chemistry you would have to well for my uni it could differ between universities but for my uni if you didn't take chemistry um you would have to do a chemistry course in first year like that was compulsory you had to do it so um but i think the main subject that you should always take is biology because if you don't have biology like you know you won't get into the let's say three years biomedical science course but you what you can do is you can go through through the foundation year which is four years of university so the foundation year is basically i think basically things that you would learn in a level biology a level chemistry as well as an a2 within one year so that would be the foundation year or if you let's say didn't meet the entry requirements you could always go to that foundation year as the entry requirements are lower and you just learn less things. So would they accept human biology for an A-level module as one of the sciences? Uh, it depends on the uni. They may or may not, but again it depends on the uni and therefore what I would do is I would advise you to contact the university you want to apply to before you apply to it. Just ask whether they do accept human biology as one of the sciences. So would psychology physical education which is PE would they accept this as a science and the answer is no unfortunately it's not really considered as a science as it's different if you know what I mean it doesn't really explore the scientific side of things like biomed is mainly to do with like diseases and different types of cellular pathways and you know um the cancer so loads of different things it come on diseases and cellular pathways so unfortunately in psychology and PE you don't really learn about those things you probably do learn a little bit but it's not enough another question would be like what type of jobs will you be able to have with a biomedical science degree well there's actually a load of jobs you can apply to you don't have to be a bms in the hospital honestly you don't need to like my friends like after let's say being at uni it like changed their aspect on what they want to do as a career like for me i want to become a bms i want to become a scientist so i'm sticking with that whereas they're doing different things like my friend sophie sat shout out to sophie like what she's doing right now obviously she wanted to do medicine and so what she's doing she beca she's becoming a pa so you can go into a pa so master so physician associate so basically like a doctor you do everything i do in doctor you just don't get paid as much and i believe you don't prescribe anything but they i think they're changing that i'm not entirely sure but um yeah so she's going to that um so yeah biomed you can um, go to post-grad medicine and my friend Zainab also wants to do that shout out to Zainab shout out to our meal deal sessions but uh, um yeah you can go into medicine veterinary stuff dentistry stuff like that you know post-grad you can always become a BMS you can be, become a scientist you can work in pharmaceutical industries you can work um in a lab like anywhere it doesn't need to be like pharmaceutical industries can be literally anywhere any lab micro lab um cytology lab histology lab hematology biochem anything it doesn't need to be with the nhs it can be like a private or independent company blah 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 there's like loads of different options you can apply to honestly my goal for 2021 be a mess and get my registration oh another thing is um my probation period is coming up which is going to be end of January but uh, as my manager is off sick I don't know when he'll be back so I don't know if this is going to be postponed or not so I'll let you guys know I'll keep you updated so um yeah we'll see whether they'll keep me and whether I can start my portfolio as in they went with their order it or and I'll let you guys know like some tips and stuff on how to do for your registration portfolio and yeah just basically come with me on my journey to become a BMS 
and maybe if you stay tuned in the future and become like a well-known scientist who knows who knows like that is my dream i've always wanted to be a scientist i can't wait that concludes today's video guys if you would like more videos like this then give this video a thumbs up comment down below honestly comment down any more questions i missed down this video i will 100 percent answer them um, if you want more tips and advice for interviews and stuff like that or just any videos to do with biomedical sciences comment down below guys honestly I will answer 100% or I'll just make another video. If Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down there. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining me on my quest to become a biomedical scientist. Stay tuned for when I do my registration, let you guys know. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye!